So nowadays everybody talks about cognitive computing and that also holds for IoT. So therefore I want to explain you how to implement such a cognitive IoT solution. Therefore I have created a reference architecture and I will walk you through that reference architecture. And then finally we will conclude with a concrete example, a concrete use case and a concrete demo how you can use the reference architecture in order to build something on top of it. Okay, I've created a little tutorial on that and I will basically just walk you through that tutorial now. This tutorial is about edge analytics only. We will send data to the cloud, but we will do the heavy analytics on the edge. Okay, so it's about moving C-score. Moving C-score is a relatively simple anomaly detection algorithm. So what you basically do is you calculate the mean. The mean is pretty simple to calculate. You basically just sum up all the individual values and then you divide by the number of values. Okay. And the second measure we will use is the standard deviation. It's a bit more complicated. So it's the difference between each individual value and the mean and this we square and then we sum up all those individual intermediate values and then we divide it by the number of values and finally we take the square root. So having calculated the mean and the standard deviation, the C-score is nothing else than the individual value subtracted by the mean and divided by the standard deviation. And since this is a moving C-score, we apply this calculation to each individual value. So we obtain a C-score for each individual value. And the reason why it's called moving is that we are calculating this not on the entire data set, we calculate it on a so-called window of 30 or 100 or 10 individual values. Okay, that's basically all. So let's see how we can implement this in Node-RED. So now what we have to do is we have to install the dashboarding function of Node-RED. This is pretty simple. We just click on Manage Palette and on Install. And let's search for dashboard. And we see there's a Node-RED dashboard package. We click on install and install again. Wow, that's done. So many new nodes we can use. So let's see in the palette. We have a section called Dashboard and there we have buttons, date picker, text, input, but more importantly we have gorges and charts and those things are really cool which we will see in a minute. So we start with this empty panel and what we basically do is we go to my GitHub account and there is a project called uh, Cognitive IoT and we use this flow here and we copy paste it and then we finally just import it from the clipboard and we put it here. So let me now walk you through those individual nodes. So again as usual, we have some means of simulating data. So that's the inject node. So every third of a second, it generates a value containing voltage and frequency. This is data coming from a hypothetical machine. And then we add some noise and random outliers in a little JavaScript function. And what we then do is we do many things. So first of all, we are adding a timestamp and that's called the event time, okay? It's not processing time because when the event occurs, we are adding a timestamp, so we are on the safe side. And finally, we send this via MQTT to the IBM Watson IoT platform for further downstream analytics and historic data analytics. But in addition, we want to do many things on the edge device. So this flow can run on a Raspberry Pi or a TI BeagleBone, whatever is capable of running a node execution environment. So what we have to do is we have to remove the hierarchy of the JSON object to have it in a flat format. And then in order to create a visualization, we just select a chart 
And the only thing what we have to do is we have to define the minimal and maximal value. So for voltage between 200 and 300 is a good value, at least in Europe. And that's basically all. So now we come to the most important part. That's the calculation of the moving C-score. So let me walk you through this code. It's pretty simple. The first thing we do is we are creating a session variable, which is basically a list. Okay. If that list exists, we can get it from the session. If it doesn't exist, then we create a new empty list. Then what we do is we add the tuple. So that means the individual voltage value now to that list. And that we do for every tuple which is arriving. So eventually this list will be greater than 30. And whenever this happens, we know that we are, can now work on a sliding window. This sliding window has size 31. The first thing we do is we sum up all the values in the window. This we do using that function here. So that's functional programming. If you are not aware of that, just check out functional programming JavaScript. And if you're coming from Haskell or a real functional programming language, this function is called fold. So we are basically folding this list and while folding, we are summing it up using an accumulator. And here we start with zero as accumulator and eventually we get the sum of all the values. Then we need the length and that's just this line here. And in order to calculate the mean, we just divide the sum of the individual values by the length. So the standard deviation is a bit more complicated, but as you remember, we have to calculate the square root of something. So that's that part. And something is basically a simple aggregation. So we basically take the individual value and subtract it by the mean, and then we square it. And then we sum all those values up. So this is again this call. And then we get rid of one of those values in the list of the oldest one. So that's how we create this sliding window. And finally, we calculate the C-score, which is also pretty straightforward. So we take the mean, we subtract the individual value, and then we divide it by the standard deviation. And since the standard deviation can get zero, in case nothing moves, we'll add a very small number to be on the safe side that we can avoid the divide by zero problem. And since we have updated this sliding window, we just store it again in a session. And then we basically put this value as the response of this function call. Okay. So there's a fork now. We again visualize this data. So we copy the value of the C-score to the payload because the visualization only wants the value to be stored in payload. And that's again a chart. And then what we do is we create a threshold. So if the C-score is above 0 0.5, we just send alert, alert, alert to somewhere. And that somewhere is basically just a text output. Okay. So stay tuned. You will see it's pretty simple to create UIs in Node-RED. That's really cool. And then this alert, alert, alert message will stay there forever. In order to get rid of it, what we do is First of all, we set this to an empty string, but we want this to happen after five seconds. So we insert a delay and that's all. Okay. So what you basically should see is if we hit deploy, that all this already works. Okay. So we hit deploy, we get a successfully deployed. Then we go to the dashboard, we open the dashboard. <coughs> and that's actually working, you see. We get the voltage and the C-score is immediately calculated and we should see an alert message as soon as we see an anomaly on the voltage. So let's wait a bit. So now it happens. Voltage was far higher than 250 volts and the anomaly score was below 0 0.5 and we saw an alert message. So that's basically all. Have a lot of fun and check out my other videos on the channel and please subscribe. All the best. Bye.